Good morning, Marcus Conti. Former sanitation enforcement agent, active again. Active again. Catching the, catching the crooks, right? <laughs> catching the fake tickets all out of nowhere. There's actually some more news coming in on that that I'll um I'll break as it transpires because that uh, that little uh, flurry there, that little dust up, uh, caused some some more things to come to surface. So, reporting about that. Um, I I don't I don't have much to say. I did this probably be brief. I don't know. I never know when I hit the record button. But I think that uh, I I don't want to be a guy who who reads the news and and and. And then comments on all the shit that other people are reporting. I, I don't want to be that guy, you know. I, I want to be. I, I want to be someone who has uh, the pulse of the, uh, has their finger on the pulse of the reason why we're we're we're, we're uh, experience, experiencing such uh, vast corruption and in income and wealth inequality in this country. That's really what I want to know about. That's really what I want to talk about. And a lot of times, by just reading the, you know, the, the fake news media to see what they're trying to get, what kind of stories they're trying to sell people to be distracted, uh, or reading the progressive papers, right, where people think they know the answer, you know, all the policies and or the Trumpsters and blah 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 blah. But but the reality is. Most people in America, I said this in, the, in a previous video, are either overworked and underpaid, right? Which means that they don't have time to pay attention to the real stories in America, the real issues, the real uh, reason why they're being duped so badly, right? And then there's the other ones who who do know, there are other people that actually do know the problem, but they're too poor to even get out of the house. Can't feed themselves, right? All they can do is, is yak on, on on social media and then get shut down eventually, right? By fa by the social media, by Facebook and Google and YouTube and all that, right? So we're in a bad situation, right? So you have all this... Income and wealth inequality, vast corruption. So that so because people are tired, because people are disenfranchised, right? The establishment gets away with murder. There's no consequence to them bending the laws in their favor. They don't they don't necessarily break a law, but if you have a law, right, there's there's many possible outcomes, right? To a ruling, right? When there's a law, right? It could it could go either way, and if the judges favor the establishment, it go, always goes in the direction of the establishment, right? There's no consequence. But if a, a regular person breaks that same law, then the consequences are often severe. So, so what I'm trying to say is, people are very tired, are are disenfranchised, and and they don't they don't they're, they're sitting waiting. That's that's the theme of this video. Complacency, right? People sit around and they, they look for heroes. They look for a hero in Bernie Sanders. They look for a hero in, 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 you know, the sacred Donald Trump. Well, they look for they look for a secret hero. They look for a leak. Oh, Q, ooh, Q, Q's got all the answers. Q's going to save us. We don't have to get off the couch because Q is going to save us. We don't have to get off the couch because Trump is our president. We don't have to get off the couch because Bernie Sanders is going to run in 2020. We don't get off. We don't have to get off the couch because maybe Elizabeth Warren will run in 2020. How ridiculous is that? There's people actually saying that right now on Facebook. So the point is that complacency is killing us, right? All this sitting around on sitting on your ass, <clears throat> whether it's in a cubicle, whether it's sitting home, you know, in between your job or whatever you do, you know, and chatting on Facebook and thinking that you have some sort of, that that you have some sort of power or you're making some sort of indent. It's really, it's really, that, what I'm trying to say is there has to be more to it, right? Maybe we need to get off social media and get back out into the, 
into the plazas and, and, and the parks and start carrying on again, or at least meeting each other. That's all for now. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist and um, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.